Signing up for the census. <laughs> Look at this view from here. Jeez. It's like surround mountain. Can't see it too well. It's a bit hazy out there, but holy crap, what a view. Mm. Hey! Better rain to get all the way in here. That box of stuff is getting soaked. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> what are you filming? Yeah. Ooh, you can barely see a thing here. But that is the third container. And I put five of the lights on it every ten ribs. As you can see, whenever it detects motion, it gets brighter. Put one on the back of the bus, too. Especially because these I can turn off. So I plan to line the bus with them. You know, like, I don't know, four of them on this end every ten foot. Four of them on the other side, two back here. Really light this bus up a little bit at night so people can't screw around with it without being seen. And then if I have to drive it, I can manually turn the lights off so they don't go off while I'm driving. And as I walk closer to them, you'll see they turn on. They get brighter, see? There we go. There. That's actually pretty good light, especially considering how poorly this camera works at night. Not bad. And then when you stop moving, they go dim again. These have crappy solar panels. They're the resin encapsulated panels, so they tend to fade in UV. But um, we'll see, maybe they use better resin. But they do have hackability. So there's an 18650 cell inside that'd be pretty easy to replace. So that's gonna be nice. And now hopefully people will be less inclined to screw around with things back here. And if I have to come back here, I'll have some light. And then here on the side, I have slightly beefier units. These are 128 LEDs each. They'll light up. I need one more to put on that one. I got a four pack coming in. And um, so one more there, and then three on the other end of the containers. And I'll have complete encapsulation of the area surrounding the containers with some level of light. That one's gotta go back on the house. That was, actually that one's there. Is it still working? Yep, that one's still working. These stay off. These here are dim, unless you walk by them. And then they get brighter. So, maybe I'll stick that one unit right here in the middle to really light this up. Actually, that's a pretty good idea. That's what I'll do. I do want to spread that a little bit more. Well, I scored some panko at Dollar Tree. So we made, I sliced up a breast of chicken into pieces and I made the ingredient list, you know, garlic, paprika, salt, pepper, a little onion powder and a panko. Egg wash, dip, fry in a pan, 300 degrees. And oh my God, it came out so good. And it's good with the malt vinegar too. I love vinegar on my chicken. And then of course, a bag of nice broccoli. Absolutely delicious. I bought a whole case of it because I know panko is considered really good. Now I'm going back and getting a whole bunch more because it was at Dollar Tree. And this is really, really freaking good. Hey guys, something I thought you'd get a kick out of. I got an alarm clock off Amazon. Yes, you heard me right. An alarm clock. <laughs> it's impressive. Check this out. So here it is. It's an alarm clock. One of the reasons I got it is I wanted a nice clock in the room that wasn't so bright. And alarm clocks have the advantage that you can make the clock really dim. This one, you can even turn the clock face off. Or bright, medium, and low. And that is really low. That's not going to bother you at night. And if it does, you can turn it off. It's a CD player. It's an FM radio, although it does use a telescopic antenna. I may replace that with a wire, since that will be um, less prone to breaking. But the antenna, the antenna works fine. Uh, 
It's a Bluetooth speaker, so you can Bluetooth connect your phone to it. It's got an aux line in, so you can take a headphone jack to it. You can plug headphones into it for some quiet listening. It's got a USB port that you can load up with MP3s. I was even able to connect my really nice little MP3 player I got. You're going to get a video on that soon. This thing is beautiful. But if you connect this to a USB port, it'll also act as a mass storage device, and this can play the music off of it. I use that in the car. Um... The other cool thing is it charges your phone. So you press this button here. Yes. This lights up blue. And now if you take a phone that has um, Qi charging capability, it will charge on this. That's just freaking awesome. This is going to be my new charging station for my phone at night. When I'm done watching videos or whatever, I just drop the phone on top of here. And it starts charging up. And there you go. It's got two alarms. It does 24-hour time, which I prefer. It also has independent volumes. So if you set the volume for the alarm, that's not the volume that the unit runs at. So I can play the radio at volume 5, nice and quiet, help me go to sleep, while maximum volume 30 can be set for the alarm, and you can set those independently. I mean, that's just, it's impressive, and it looks good. I mean, it's decent looking. It's got a little bit of flair in the design without being gaudy, without being in your face. That little bit of glow from the feature set, really nice. Um, I actually wish you could turn that off or down, although it is recessed. So, recessed and indirect, so this should not be shining up on your wall, because I worry about how bright that might be at nighttime. Um... Speakers are a little weak, two 2-watt two speakers, but they sound good. No issues. Let me give you a little bit of radio real quick, just so you can hear it. So there's USB mode, there's tune mode. That's it. Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth mode. I love the way it says that. All the Chinese stuff does that. Aux mode. CD mode, so you can put a CD in here. And of course, USB mode when you plug a thumb drive into here. Really slick little unit. Press and hold power to put it in standby mode. And you can use that to press and hold these buttons to change the alarm clock time and the regular time. I mean, I really didn't expect it to be this nice. I was really surprised how nice this turned out. It's a pretty slick little radio. If you think you might be interested in something like that, affiliate link down below. So, we made pizza tonight. This is our first pizza in Ed the new Edgewood house. You can get these thin crust pizza skins, large ones and small ones, these are the small ones, at Dollar Tree, two for a dollar. I'm going to buy a bunch of them because they have a one year shelf life. So you just put your pizza sauce, which Dollar Tree also sells, and, <laughs> and then I had mozzarella and pepperoni at home, and um, I made up, you know, some extra cheese, heavy pepperoni, double layer pepperoni pizzas. And that's what we're having for dinner tonight. That's awesome. I mean, she says they're great. I can't wait to try it to see if it's actually as good as she says it is. Because I am super excited if I can make pizzas. Because next up has to be ham, mushroom, pepperoni, and pineapple. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Holy crap, this is good. <laughs> I mean, this tastes legit. We are absolutely buying more of this, and we are making more pizzas. So finally, some more progress on the shed. We got a wall segment put up. And we are making these segments removable. So we are not gonna have an overlap of the outside. They are supposed to have put the metal on here. Why didn't they put the metal on there? I'll have to ask them about that. And then um, we had to get rid of lights and stuff over here because obviously the shed is going to be here. So I put an outlet in so I could still use that switch and that outlet. I'm gonna actually use that for the lighting under here. So this one plugged into that. Although probably somewhere over here, I'm going to put in um, a day-night eye, so it turns off during the day. And then I had to make a custom cover since that is a light cover. So I made a custom outlet cover for the light cover. I don't really need it. It's behind here where it can't be touched, but I don't want critters getting in there. You know, a squirrel could crawl up here or a lizard. So I'll have a nice cover on there. There you go, the cover is installed, and I'm probably going to get some weather strip to improve that seal there. But now I can plug in my nice flat plug so it won't be in the way. And I have nylon tie downs so that the cable doesn't fall. And now it sits right here, and I can plug whatever I want into that. So just lighting LEDs. And 
maximum power these take uh, 50 watts at minimum power probably 10 watts so 